I've been doing this for 20 years and I still get surprised. Hey y'all, I think you know I'm back at work. I'm back at my full-time job. So I don't have as much time to do what I used to do. And a matter of fact, I, I listed one thing today. And so I was coming home feeling not too great. I'm like, man, how am I gonna keep up with this stuff? And I get home and look what I see here. I come over here and I look at this stuff. I'm like, what is this? This stuff is from the Commonwealth Picker store, commonwealthpicker.com. And I see Reagan's been in here and I see Blue Ridge Mama's writing and they have already packaged up everything today that sold on commonwealthpicker.com. I'm very proud of Reagan and thankful for Blue Ridge Mama. So. Barbara, there's yours. Eh, I'll just show everybody real quick. Carl, Wendell, what's this one? Gary, Carrie, Jessica, what's that one? Matthew, there are two there. Carla, Kevin, that's a great name, whoever that is. Lori, and I think this is Lori Brown. I think this is my aunt. I think it is. You know, you didn't have to buy that, you know. I probably could have given it to you. You might have to wait a while before I see it, but... <laughs> and Eddie. And what's this one? Edward. Edward and Eddie. So I am incredibly grateful and thankful to y'all and to my wife and my daughter. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. We are in the Commonwealth cabin. And sometimes when I'm getting ready for the show, I just look at these items and I'm like... I still, I've been doing this for 20 years and I still get surprised, not only at how much certain items go for and how much people are willing to pay, but why they sell to begin with, but how much money they bring on top of it. So, and we had a few of those today and I uh, had some decent sales today. Uh, so many that I'm not gonna get to them all. We're just gonna push some back to tomorrow and talk about those tomorrow, but let's take a look at what's sold. All right, here is a KitchenAid meat grinder food grinder i pick these up often sometimes even if they're not in great shape i'll pick them up because you can take the parts from the inside of it and you can sell those off especially if the blades are in good shape and you can sell them off and kind of part out this part because that's what it is it's an accessory to the kitchen aid and of course kitchen aid stuff sells the mixers and stuff sells really really good and this guy I picked up, I think, for $3. It had a $5 sticker on it, and I uh, picked it up for $3. I get trashed all the time on those videos for uh, trying to get a discount. But this one I did free shipping because I know I can put it in a Region A box if I need to. Plus, it's really small, but I was pretty confident, and it's going to end up costing me about $8 to ship this, even though we did $36 free shipping. Hey, this came out of the unexpected jackpot sale, and it was just a little component for a Tyco. It's a, what do they call it? I can't remember what they call it, but Tyco. This is a red line trucking, and it's just the back to a, to a diesel, to a semi-truck. I don't really know what it is, to be honest with you. $14.71 plus shipping on this. We're going to add it to the unexpected jackpot sale. All right, with that one and a sale that we're going to have the Homeschool Hustlers sh show you in a minute. That was a $12 profit. And with that one, takes us to $9.55. And we sold a G.I. Joe helmet. Tiny, you're going to have to see it in a minute. This is one of those things I was talking about. I'm just surprised um, that sold. And we made $7 profit on. And both of those came from the unexpected jackpot. $962 so far after fees, after shipping. All right, this is a game, if you've been watching the show a while, I've probably picked it up two or three times since I've started doing this. It always sells well, and it's actually selling better now than it has been in a while. I think it was 36 plus shipping, maybe 35 plus shipping on this, but it's always a good idea to get in there and make sure that the ring is in there. A lot of people will take the ring out of it, and then you end up with the rest of the game, which is still fine. You can still sell it, but the ring itself sold independently brings 10 bucks. So even if you know the thing's in disarray and nothing's there and it's beat up, if you can get that for 50 cents, you can grab the ring and make a little bit of money. This one has a ring, and I think Trivial Pursuit, Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit has a ring. And those are the only two with a ring. So I know there's only supposed to be one ring that binds them, but apparently all the games have those rings. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a heavy game, but we did uh, plus shipping on top. So I think I paid... 
I'm not quite sure what I paid for this one, to be honest with you. I may have paid a dollar. I may have paid up to three, but I don't think I paid more than that. I buy cassettes all the time. This is a George Strait one step at a time. Still sealed in the plastic. It sat around for quite a while, but it sold for $7.91. Free shipping, I think, so I didn't make much money on it. But I buy things in lots, and I usually take this stuff and put them in my booth. But it was new and sealed. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make like three bucks on this thing. I'll snap a quick picture. Paid $5 for this Minolta Freedom 3. And it's used, but it is functioning. Has the box, has everything. Has a little uh, manual and everything. And I got an interesting message on this one. This one sold for $29 plus shipping. And let me read to you what it puts here. Now, this is not a drop shipper. I don't think it is. They don't have a lot of feedback. So if they're a drop shipper, they're a new one. It says, please pack items with its accessories and the original box and pack it into the smallest package possible while ensuring its safety. <laughs> I'm not so sure why they think it's important to have the smallest package possible because the shipping price is already built in. They're not going to save any money on that. Only thing I can think of, maybe y'all can tell me in the comments, you can help me out a little bit here is that they don't want uh, environmentally to have wasted shipping supplies. Either that or they have like a, a peel, but I didn't look at that. Like maybe maybe they have a box that only cer certain things fit in. They didn't want things left on their part. I'm not exactly sure. Would you tell me why somebody, give me some reasons in the comments, why somebody might want it packaged in the smallest package possible while ensuring it's safe. All right, here is one that I would never pick up on its own. Sold for $6.81 plus shipping. And it's to a Sharp TV. I think this is to the old style, the uh, box, you know, with the VCR. I think that's what it's to. I think I've sold those before with this exact remote. And it was just in a box of remotes that I bought. And this one would not have appealed to me right off the bat. Maybe it should have. $6.81 plus shipping, you know, if you get something cheap enough in a bundle, it's probably worth taking a picture and listed. All right, here are some Liberty overalls, and these are in pretty good shape. If you're watching the Commonwealth Picker channel, I bought this at the sale from Wednesday, from yesterday. Yesterday morning, we put that one out, and I paid, I think, 50 cents for them. They sold for 20 plus shipping. I think this pays for pretty much everything we bought at that sale, and we bought all kinds. That's why I'm wearing this shirt, by the way. <laughs> I had so many people ask me about these wrestling shirts. And I had already started to take pictures of some, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to put them in lots and put a decent price on them and see if a viewer wants them. But uh, I haven't even cleaned them, you know. Some of them were in great shape, some of them aren't in great shape, but they're uh, not bad. Individually, you know, each shirt's not going to make a ton of money. There are a couple that will, but I just figured I'd lump some together, maybe five at a time by size, and put them out there. So if you're one of the people who sent me a message, and I got so many I didn't even get to them, that you wanted them or wanted some of them or what i just put them in lots and maybe you can find one that you want on there i thought about putting them on instagram but to be honest with you i can't keep up with different platforms as it is so to start that thing was going to be a pain anyway i buy these all the time you know people need them especially out where i'm at and they usually ship pretty close you know all right, I've got three things I've got to show you real quick. One's in the back, I've got to grab it, and then a item over here that you probably see right there, that Toro grass catcher. And we'll tell you that story real quick. And then after that, I have a gift from a viewer that is amazing, and I just have to show it to you. All right, the item is Tupperware, and Tupperware is going to reside in the Vermont bin right here. Grab it. All right, and it is a pickle keeper. So there's one item that I get more people sending me messages on than any other item. It's the pickle keeper. They're so excited and so proud to show me they found a pickle keeper. And I just don't understand. I feel like I have led some people astray. There's not much money in pickle keepers. But let me tell you, they are everywhere. I have to tell you, they are. And I love hearing the stories. Maybe we should do... Uh, a hashtag on Instagram or something. It is awesome. So I buy these. I bet you, I mean, I don't even know how many I've sold. I probably, besides Mousetrap Balls and Enemyan and Grateful Dead CDs, I might have sold more of these than any other item 
on eBay. I have been selling these for years and years and years and years. And I want to show you this though. Just to give you an idea, you'll never retire early selling Tupperware in general, but certainly not pickles. So pickle profits, I call it. $12.95 selling price, free shipping. Cost for this one was 50 cents, but sometimes I'll pay a dollar. I'll, I'll, I will, mm, I won't want to say I'll never pay more than, I might pay two. I'd never pay more than two, but I try to get them for a buck or 50 cents. So 50 cents is the cost. Unfortunately, this ships out at the 12 ounce rate. If you really want to skimp, you can get it at the eight ounce rate. Let me show it to you real quick. So it weighs something. I mean, that's like one sheet of bubble wrap and a poly bag. <laughs> so, I mean, really skimping. But I can uh, I can usually bubble it up and put it in a poly bag or put it in a big padded poly or put it in a uh, small box. 8x6x4, by by I think will do the trick. But, you know, there's cost to that involved as well. So $4 for this particular one at the 12-ounce rate. I think it's going to Tennessee. So a lot of times it'll be a little higher than that. Uh, sometimes it'll be less, I think. Actually, I think $4 is the cheapest 12 ounce rate. Right? At any rate, it's $1.94 in fees. It's actually less than that, but I build in 15%, so I'm covering the cost of the box and the label and all that stuff. So that brings us to $6.51 in profit. So you're, it might be cool to grab them, but you're not making a bunch of money for sure. But I'm happy. I like to make that. You know, I've probably made $6.51, you know, 50 times. So maybe it adds up to something. Who knows? All right, next thing is this Toro bag. I have sold these many times before. I've sold new ones before. I usually get them for a pretty good price. This time, I passed, the, I think I passed this exact same one up. If you go back and watch the exact change sale on Commonwealth Picker, I think this one I passed up and then saw it at Goodwill not too long after that, and then I picked it up because it was the exact same type. And I ended up buying it for $2.99, I think, and it sold for $40 plus 39 plus shipping. And I have gotten more than that before and would have probably gotten more than that on this one, but this one had no tag on it and I couldn't put it with an exact model number. So I had to give dimensions and all that and it took a long time to sell and I discounted it. But $39 plus shipping and it really is not that hard. If you have the right size box, it's easy to ship. Just slide it in and ship it. It's not really gonna get damaged too bad if you package it up right. It doesn't take more than about five, 10 minutes. That's a pretty good profit, $3 into 39. You know, that's a nice little profit for me. It's worth selling those. And I'm just a little surprised that it sold at the end of the season as opposed to the beginning. All right, there it is. I put it on Instagram, so some of you have already seen it. And there it is, that is just awesome. I love it. I just have got to find a place for it. I was thinking about maybe putting it on top of the featured presentation or putting it up there somewhere, or maybe putting it above the light. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna put it. Got to find some space somewhere, maybe up here. I don't know how I'll attach it, but at any rate, that is awesome. I love it. Tea Stained Madness on Instagram. And oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. Reagan would love it because there's a narwhal on there. Love it. And Elliot at Smellio. And this is so here it is. I'll probably post it on Instagram, which he already did. So that is so cool. I'm so happy to have it, and I am uh, grateful and appreciative. That's very kind of you. And I think he said something about having an Etsy shop as well. So I don't know what your Etsy shop is or how we could find it, but man, amazing stuff. I really do appreciate it. All right, I think we have two things in the eBay cave and one in a man, I think, something like that. Let's go take a look. A one shirt sale today, $16.55, I think. It was on a 15% off sale. I took the clothing from forever ago and put it on a sale and I picked this up. This isn't something I'd pick up at the Goodwill. This is something I picked up because there was quite a few of them I think for a dollar a piece. It's been a long time. This sucker's been in the store probably for a year and a half at least and they clearly were just dry cleaned and it's in great shape. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna send this thing out, make a little bit of money on it. I'll probably make, I don't know, eight, nine dollars on it, something like that. Nothing amazing, but I am happy it's gone. All right, and a man going out to Melanie. Let me read it to you real quick. This one's on my phone. It was on the regular messaging system as opposed to on the sale. But I figured I only sold two of these today, so I might as well tell you. Hi, Kevin. I'm a subscriber to your channel. I greatly appreciate the knowledge you share. Really enjoy the history, too. <laughs> 
My husband and I are part-time resellers selling about 1K a month. Bought this little guy as a good luck charm uh, to get things moving or to keep things moving. Thank you for all you do, Melanie. Uh, Rockies 15 eBay name. Thank you, Melanie, and thank your husband too. All right, here is, you probably saw me pick, well, I don't know, maybe you haven't. I can't remember where I got the. You know what, you haven't seen this sale yet. This is one that I didn't and saved for the fall. We're hoping to sneak away for a week during the fall. That's our hope anyways. We haven't had a vacation in a, a long time. And uh, I made a video and I think this one was on there. You'll see it in the fall, but I actually it was from like a month ago. And I picked up some games and did pretty well on the games. This one is one I picked up really just to kind of show you. Uh, I used to sell this a lot. I would buy these often for maybe 99 cents at the Goodwill, but I would buy them often at yard sales for 50 cents, maybe a buck. And I used to put just the parts. I used to dump the parts out and take a picture and I'm like, hey, replacement parts for the Mastermind game. And I did it because I was the only one doing it. There was nobody else out there selling the parts. And I was often getting more for just the parts than for the whole game. I was getting 10 bucks for it, which might not seem like a lot, and it really isn't. But, you know, it's so easy. Sometimes I'd use the exact same listing because I'd have some on there already. So I'd just go on and I'd change the quantity so there was no work involved, and I'd make like five fifty, six bucks on it. That was back in the day when first class was a little cheaper. And so I bought this one just to see, and now there's some other folks out there, probably been listening to me, that are <laughs> that are parting these things out and doing the same, and the value of these games aren't aren't that great anyways. Plus it's in bad shape. If you get one in new condition, you make some money on it. But this one sold for eight dollars plus shipping. I think I paid fifty cents, so you know I'll make like six bucks on it. All right, one more anime really quick, and this one's going out to Hollywood Reseller. And is that on YouTube or on eBay or both? Well, it's not your eBay name, and man, you have a lot of feedback, so you've been doing this a while. So maybe that's your YouTube uh, viewer name. I'm not quite sure. Leave us a comment below. If you have a YouTube channel, I'd like to check it out. So plus Hollywood, you know, Cal I didn't live in Hollywood. I was probably maybe an hour east of Hollywood. But uh, certainly been there many times. So let me read this. Is there a story behind these fellas? Oh my goodness. I, I could talk forever. You get me talking about history or, or anime, and, you know, I could talk for a while. I'll make it short. I appreciate it and will uh, place this in my shed for good luck. Shed in California? You must have more space than most folks have out there. <laughs> and yet, yes, there's a story behind them. The story, I'm going to make it quick for those you've been around the channel for a while. The story is I used to sell these back in the day. I started picking up Christmas ornament ones at a flea market and a, and a particular lady who would go around to different sales and she would sell them off for like two bucks a piece. And I started to pick them up every once in a while because I can make like four or five bucks on them and I'd grab a handful of them but I didn't want to spend so much money because I didn't think I could sell them all and they started to sell okay so I'd track her down and I'm like hey you know how about a buck and I'll buy them all and she wouldn't do it. And so I'd buy a little bit more. I didn't make much on them. And then I started to see a couple of lots. I saw some folks around selling singles. And I'd pick them up for 50 cents and sell them and make a little bit of money. And there's some other eBay sellers out there. And then I came across some at Dirt Road Treasures in Bedford, Virginia. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to buy like uh, 50 of these. What do you think? And they gave me a little cut rate deal, like a buck fifty or so. And so I bought 50 of them. And I went back because they were selling pretty good and I bought like 200 more. So pretty happy about that. Brought them home and some viewers started to buy them because they said that they would, an enema, if you don't know what an enema is, you need to look up enema. I probably left that part of the story out. I'm assuming you know what an enema is. I'm not going to tell you because it's kind of PG-13. But anyway, actually it's probably R. Maybe X, depending on, oh, forget it. All right, so this guy right here was said to have magical reselling powers to get things moving out of people's stores. And so people would buy them and put them in their store or touch products to them or whatever and uh, say that the, the stuff was moving out of their inventory. So, And of course, you know, of course it works. No doubt about it, for sure. <laughs> I went back and said, how many do you have of these? And he chuckled and laughed. And didn't tell me. I'm like, no, seriously, how much do you have? And he still didn't tell me. I'm like, I want to buy every single one you have. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't. I was like, sure I do. He brought 1,500 of them out. And really, that wasn't all he had. I actually went back and bought 200 more later. 
Anyway, we bought a bunch of these things and we have been selling them off bit by bit to all the viewers and it is a giant thank you to all you guys for, for buying them. So you have made the Inner Man famous. But CB Fleet is in Lynchburg, Virginia. All right, I have one home, I have two homeschool hustler store sales out there. We're gonna go out there and take a look. But I wanna say goodbye from in here, like I always do. We appreciate you stopping by the eBay cave, the shed in there, and being a little bit of a part of our family. So we appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. All right, we have a homeschool hustler, and we had two sales at a dinosaur. Which one is the dinosaur? On this one. <laughs> and it's from Jurassic World. It's got a JW on it. It's easy to identify. You wanna show them the JW? Uh, what's the JW? JW, it's right here. Uh, there it is right there. Oops, upside down. See the JW? And Jurassic Park has a JP. And so whenever I see those, and if they're dirt cheap, I'll pick them up. Some of them have a lot of value, Turner. That one, I think, sold for $12.95 plus shipping. Yep, $12.95 plus shipping, and I paid $0.50 cents for it. And I was at that sale late. I bet you there was tons of good toys, because I found some uh, pretty decent ones really late in the afternoon. And that, on your finger, is a helmet for a G.I. Joe Cobra figure. Yep. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. What is G.I. Joe? Yeah, you don't know G.I. Joe or Jurassic Park, do you? No. Oh, I, have I mean, I know Jurassic Park, but I haven't watched it. No, because you'd be afraid, huh? No. Yes, you would. No, yes, you would. No, I, I promise you would. <laughs> you watched Gremlins, though, didn't you? Yes. I and were you afraid it. of Gremlins? No. No, it wasn't scary, was it? No. <laughs> what that lady was a savage though. even when <laughs> she was a savage because yeah. what did she do with one gremlin in the microwave um set it in the microwave and turn it on and she's like coming to <laughs> she exploded a gremlin and in the microwave gross. oh my, my goodness favorite one was, my favorite gremlin was probably stripe because he made like so many come out of his body <laughs> You like Stripe? You didn't yeah. like uh, the Mogwai? You didn't like Gizmo? I mean, yeah, he was cool. He's probably my second favorite. <laughs> oh, my goodness my gracious. second favorite. All right, Turner, thank you so much for joining us and making me laugh today. I appreciate it. Bye. Hey, Reagan. Hi. What you doing today? Packaging up all our stuff that people yeah. bought. Wow, we had a lot of orders today, right? Yeah. A lot of t-shirts, mugs. What else? Some stickers? Some stickers. We had some big orders though from some awesome people. Yeah. We appreciate them supporting us, don't we? Yeah, thank you. All right, so I'll let you keep working over here. That's everything we've got um, packaged up with names on it. Get the labels out and get them shipped out, right? Yep. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.